Hey, this is Fat Cat Pro. We're doing Mobius Part 3. Deeper Force, deeper meaning. Tell me what's the meaning. We have to figure out what Bianca's with her life and figure out which one she matches up to, to a historical figure, because we're pretty much finding out who are killing these people like they're killing the way historical figures die. Mostly, those who are repeated shall be doomed. Who doesn't learn their history and don't do something new on herself when we learn to repeat it once again. So we have somebody who's repeating the fucking history. Crap. This is not good. How did you meet Bianca? Bianca's family is one of the most influential in all of Italy. I have known her father for many years. I watched Bianca mature. She was the perfect politician's wife. She loved meeting people and doing philanthropic work. I knew she would make the perfect wife for a man of my ambitions. Fortunately, her father agreed, and I was able to convince her to marry me, even though she was quite young at the time. How old was Bianca when you married her? She was 18, and I was 43. But she was very mature for her age. She knew the life she wanted, and I could give it to her. She was happy in our marriage, especially once our son came along. I realize it is difficult to speak ill of the dead, but Bianca must have had some flaws. No one is perfect. It is a good thing that I, myself, am a man who often has to say things no one wants to hear, because otherwise I would throw you out of the house for that impudence. As you say, Getting to the truth is not always pleasant. She was a beautiful young woman. She had some insecurities. Never thought she was good enough, perfect enough. Perhaps I should be grateful for that. If she had been more confident, she might never have married me. I appreciate your honesty, Signore. Bianca quit dancing after you were married? Of course, it was hardly appropriate for the wife of a man in my position. Can it be their private lessons between you and Sarah? How old was Bianca when she had your son? It was a year after our marriage. She was 19. Does that have some relevance? We'll see. I must ask you about Bianca's murder. If you must. Tell me about the night it happened. Bianca wished to attend a concert. She had a number of musician friends from her student days. I declined to go with her. It was nothing important, and I preferred to get some work done. Now I wish I'd never allowed her to go out alone. You couldn't possibly have known. It's not your fault. Do you know who killed Bianca? No. She was a beautiful and gracious young woman. She had no enemies, nor do I. You never know. You never know. I'm afraid I must get back to work. In times of fiscal crisis, one is not even allowed the solace of grief. You may stay and look around. I have told the staff that you are free to come and go. You'll find Bianca's bedroom through that door there. And before you ask, the house has plenty of rooms. Bianca liked having her own sanctuary. We were happily married. I would be the last person to judge such an arrangement. Thank you for your time, Signor Cardolo. Goodbye. A wedding photo of Bianca and Dante Cardolo. She has a striking figure. What I can see of it around that large bouquet. Someone must have a love of dance, or bare navels. It doesn't do anything, thank God. Bianca liked to entertain. I imagine there will be few parties in this room now, at least until Signor Cardolo remarries. I don't play.
Buongiorno. This is Malachi Recta. I need to speak with you about the death of Bianca Cardolo. I was told to expect your call. Meet me at 425 alla due colonne. That's the site of the murder. Thank you. I'll see you there. Peace there, be square. The sofa and chair are Queen Anne, but they've been reupholstered in red leather. Hideous. Yeah, this is why you need to keep your mouth to yourself, mister. What have he heard you? The Cardola home is on one of the oldest and most prestigious canals in Venice. It's the perfect address for someone with ambition. what I see with Grey Matter. You know, with all the other games that you play here, it does have its differences, yet it still have similarities. Dance images and more family photos. Boring. Her robe and slippers are still laid out, waiting for Bianca to come home. I wonder how long it will be before someone dares put them away. Senor Cardolo said this was Bianca's room, which means I presume that this was not the matrimonial bed. Nearly everything in this room matches. I prefer a more eclectic approach myself. The stool goes with the bed set. It looks rather useless. The desk is 19th century, Italian design. Italian. Nothing interesting. A 19th century printer's desk. Lots of nooks and crannies, and maybe more than meets the eye. Bianca kept some pens in here, no surprise, it is a writing desk. Can't look for writing desk. She's all over there. They look like drawers, but they're decorative. They don't actually open. What? Nothing interesting. Nothing interesting. Nothing interesting. Blank envelopes. Ah. Nothing interesting. What about the clock? Can I mess with the clock? A small desk clock. Worthless. The notebook looks brand new. Postage stamps? Do people actually mail things anymore? I do. Bianca's planner. It's open to the day she was murdered. She'd written in a concert for that evening, but there's nothing else relevant. What about the date? I recognize that. It's a key slot, probably for a secret drawer. Alright, that's for part... Part... Four... Nine... Well, don't forget to hit whatever button you like to hit. Till next time.